welcome to all. It's talk time today. This is an FX 951 solder station. It is a copy of a very well known brand. This is the main unit. Got a lot of weight to it. LCD display up and down. Uh, enter and change program I believe. This slot here is for a supervisor to change the temperature display uh, temperature. So if the card's removed I believe it's either locked or within a certain tolerance but you can change the temperature. Um, however I'll probably put the card in and cut it off or print one up that's at low profile. Put a switch on the top. Takes the standard kettle lead uh, here in the UK. I bought the um, Australian version. Uh, it's got an Australian plug. However, I'm in the UK, um, and it's a 230 volt version. However, this is um, 220 on the back. What else do we get now? We get a nice little stand. Um, got a bit of weight to it as well, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Um, not sure if that's me metallic or not. It certainly sounds metallic. Okay, what else we got? Power lead. This is a silicone style mat for something. It may be for removing the tips while they're hot, so you can poke your tip through and remove it from the handle. Speaking of tips, this was in the top. It's a T12K style tip. Um, uh, here's the temperature set supervisor key. Sponge for the unit. Some stick on feet. I, yep, I assume they're for this unit. And this is the iron with the handle. This the key. Goes in this way. Like so. It's a little bit wibbly wobbly. Maybe we'll put the feet on it quickly. That's the feet on. It's a shame I went the right size, but feet are feet really, aren't they? I already purchased some spare tips. Um, these are T12 D24s. So I'm not going to use the K type tip for what I need. I'm going to need shovel bits like this. Chisel, not shovel. Right, let's see how this goes together. Okay, with a, a Hakko 951, you used to get um, one of these included. Um, so I don't know if this actually fits with it. No, it doesn't. You might be able to raise this up. With this raised up, this just about fits in. Um, it's sort of rested on it, but for the price, what, you, what can you expect really? Just want to double check that the earth is actually going to the earth on here. Um, I'll run through in a minute and check that the tips are ES ESD safe. It's apparently ESD safe. Uh, I believe that is grounding from the tip to the earth on here. Okay, inserting the tip insert it into the handle here, push it all the way into it clicks and then you just slide this on up on up into here. There we go. This feels quite nice and sort of rubberized. To remove it just pinch them together and pull. Um, I believe to remove this you could put your tip in through there and grab this push on the end 
and that enables you to change the tip while it's hot. Uh, for my type of use, I just use this tip all the time. Place it in the holder, put it in an angle under the wire retention bit here. Seems alright. Um, a little bit awkward to get in and out, but it's not going to fall out, is it? It's a very nice silicone feeling wire. This is just a, I think it's a eight pin DIN plug. There we go. That feels nice and sturdy. Yep. You see this catch? Looks in nice and snugly. If this is truly SD safe, I believe we should get a continuity but we don't ah. nope oh no okay well that's something to remember doesn't seem to be as safe. Um, I may be testing it wrong, but from what I believe, you had um, uh, from a tip for it to be unit. Right then, let's um, plug it in, shall we, and see what's going on. I've got this. Let's see what the tip comes out. There's an insight into something coming up later on the channel. Um, yeah, no, no expense spared on that one. Okay, before we plug it in, I'm going to just get my soldering iron over here. Obviously, I haven't turned the tip up or anything yet. Um, to test it, I'm just going to stick some solder on here with some wires. I think I'll get some of that somewhere. Let's um, fire it up. Ah, it actually shows the tip heating. And a beep to signify that it's up to temp. Oh, I like that already. Hopefully that is visible. Well, that certainly tinned up really, really well. Okay, jumping from 350 to 362. Right then, let's see if this display corresponds. About 12 degrees difference. I can't speak to the validity of this, um, but we're there or thereabouts. I don't really want to do this, but I will. This is a fluke with a thermal, uh, a Type K thermocouple one. I think that concludes that this is there or thereabouts, uh, closeness wise. Um, just demonstrate if we wanted to change the program. All we would do is put this in the right way for a start. Um, up to 450. Let's do 450. That actually does come up to temp rather quick, doesn't it? Okay, so Really happy so far. Um, a little bit of paint chip on here, but it's a tool. You're going to use it, aren't you? So, what I've got here is a power distribution board for um, a quadcopter or any sort of craft you might use it on.
Well, considering it's a small bit on there, not the um, large K or any other bit that might be more suitable for this sort of flooding work. Um, however, it's probably some of my nicest solder joints. Yeah, they're not coming off. Let's just see how quick it uh, comes up to temperature quick. Straight up to temp. Well, proof simmer put in. Is in eating. So, yeah, all good. Very, very happy with that. Um, waste of the most expensive solder on the planet but worth it okay I'm going to demonstrate how to do the tip offset value this is at the default 350 so let's just say that's 330 in the manual it says insert the control card and hold the hash key for a second but that's not the way it works uh, on this unit anyway uh, without the card in just press and hold the hash key mine was displaying 20 degrees too low so this is plus 20 required on the offset if it was minus on the first digit you can just put it to minus however I need it to be positive just like the temperature um, setting just press the asterisk key to move to the next one I'm going to put it to 20 ok that's saying it's 350 degrees and beat to be up to temperature and there you go 350, 351 I could fine tune that um, I'm going to dial it back another uh, 10 degrees down because I'm not sure, I trust the fluke more than I do this so just hold this for one second, the hash key, asterisk once, drop that down once, asterisk, asterisk, done. There you go, that's offset demonstrated. So I hope that's helped. Uh, moving on, let's just say I want to change it to Fahrenheit for example. So I'd enter the card, hold down these two buttons, turn it on. 1C, 1F, 1C, 1F, and then you would hit um, asterisk. That's the low, and then this is the supervisor mode. 662 must be 350 degrees centigrade. 75 watt, 200 to 450 degrees Celsius centigrade whatever you want to call it nowadays um, output 27 volts on the iron you have um, data entry on here and select uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit if need be depending what your persuasion is the hash key initiates data entry and the asterisk end of sequence uh, increase and decrease on the arrows for example, if you want to change the temperature, you would insert the card, the first digit will start flashing up and down on the input increase and decrease buttons. Uh, press the asterisk, it will move to the sensor, and then same again to the end. Um, hold the asterisk down for at least one second, and the comp temperature setting will be displayed. Turn off the pad to replace the tip, hold the tip with a heat resistant pad, and pull it out, obviously this. And set the new tip fully into the 2025. If it won't, uh, if it's not inserted correctly, it will display the S E error. Um, if you find your tip is a wrong temperature to what's displayed, you can do an offset in the um, programming with the key. The parameter settings. You can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit, auto power shut off, low temperature alarm, reset the supervisor or operator control setting, and then the 
set default temperature. Auto power shut off, optional setting, when it's activated the soldering iron is not used for 30 minutes, power of the heating element is shut off and the display will show dash dash dash. To bypass this procedure and continue resetting the low temperature alarm tolerance, let me press the asterisk once again. Uh, just run of a mill, showing exactly what the procedure is for changing all the stuff that you might need. Um, tip maintenance cleaning after use when it's not been used. Right, I think that covers my manual. Uh, the iron gets hot to what you set it to, that's enough. There's a link in the description, you can get 15% off of it with the coupon code. It's in the page that is linked. Uh, just click show me and it'll give it you. I hope it's giving you an insight into a cheap alternative to a half decent iron. Um, within 10 degrees the offset will be set um, off camera. But yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.